Welcome back everybody, Silas here again today, and today I am in Minden, Nebraska at Pioneer Village. This place is absolutely awesome, there are tons of old cars here, antiques, historical items, extremely rare things, things you will see pretty much nowhere else. You might see them on Google and that's about it. I'm going to kind of walk through here, show it to you guys, I'm going to probably have to split this up into at least two videos, because there's so much stuff here I can't fit it all into one video, we'll be here for hours. If you do plan on coming out here, make sure you make it an all day thing because there is so much stuff. If you come here close to closing time, you won't have time to see it all. But enough about all that, let's check the place out. I may not do a whole lot of talking, I'm just going to let the stuff speak for itself. But there is just, I don't know, you'll see in just a minute.
log cabin. I'm not going to show you everything. You'll have to come see it for yourself, but we'll kind of do a little bit of, of a tour. It's crazy to think that nowadays this entire house would be considered a small bedroom. <laughs> How times have changed in the last 150 years. Here's the upstairs bedrooms. I love old time general stores. They're so cool to go through. And it's doubly cool for me because I've owned a lot of this stuff. I've had so many different antiques and things through the years. I can look at something and go, oh, I had one of those, no, oh, I had one of those. It's a good thing I don't have this much property in this many buildings or else this is what my property would look like. Interesting stuff. There's a government land office. Firehouse. And the railroad depot. Old fire truck. There's a jail cell. That's kind of cool. That's a really neat piece there. That'd be kind of cool to have one of those. Give me a place to put my kids. These things are huge. Here's an old school. If you watch my videos regularly, be looking out for a video coming up soon where I explore an old abandoned schoolhouse that's fallen in. A bunch of old cars around it. It's a pretty cool place. Old time schoolhouse. Old books. I wonder, I mean, obviously they didn't, but what would whoever was up here teaching or even the kids around this classroom think if they knew that someday I was going to be in here with a camera recording all this stuff? <laughs> Just far out there how much technology has advanced in the last hundred years. Now this one's really cool. This is a sod house made out of sod. I'm sure they've had to repair it through the years, but the roof is sod, the walls are sod. Like what they would have made back out on the prairie. This is actually a pretty good size one. It's got two rooms. I've seen these before that were just one room. A lot smaller than this. Can you imagine living in this back in the day? How times have changed. Of course, I can't say too much because I missed her building a junkyard cabin out of an old school bus. <laughs> so, of course, I'm not going to live in it all the time with a family, but that'd be wild. Another old building here. Let's see what's in here. Bunches of old glassware. I'm not too much into this sort of stuff, but I can appreciate the, the coolness of it, the antiqueness of it. It's kind of a lost thing though. Nobody has china sets hardly anymore. Or if they do, they're not grandmother's china set anymore. They're just whatever they bought out of the store. Also in that video of that abandoned school, there was an abandoned church there as well, and a limestone house. This one's in much better condition than the one I was just at though. I believe they still hold worship in here every now and then. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure they do. I remember reading something about that. This building here is full of old appliances. Let's go check these out. See, now we're getting a little bit more modern, and this is stuff that I've had before once again. If I've had a ton of these refrigerators, I grew up crushing these refrigerators. It's kind of sad to say that, but it is what it is. Bunches of neat things all through here. Old stoves.
They're a lot of work to run these things, but these things, in my opinion, cook food so good. If I ever strike it rich, I want to have one of these completely restored to where I can actually use one of these in a house. Now, obviously, I don't want to have to run wood in it. I'd rather convert it over to something else, but just the look of these things is so awesome. Well, that's why it took me so long to find a stove from a junkyard cabin. They're all in here. I finally went with the modern style. Huh. I know some people that rent a duplex, and in their duplex, they have an old stove about just like that and the uh, matching uh, oven that goes above it. Bunch more appliances in here. Washing machines. All sorts of old washing machines. That's kind of a cool one. Never seen one like that before. Tons of them all through here. In the auction there was a bunch of these. A bunch, of, actually this style right here. But that's why they're having on that auction to get rid of that. a lot of that stuff is because they have so much of it in the museum already. They don't need more. Here's an old time wind turbine. Everybody talks about the modern ones. Obviously, they're a lot bigger than these. But this is an old time wind turbine that generated electricity. There's nothing new under the sun. What everybody says is new and modern is old and archaic. Check this out. An old copper bathtub. That is too cool. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. I've seen a lot of the tin ones, but I've never seen a copper one. Check out the old ice cream parlor. There's one of those in Wichita. It's a little bit bigger than that. It's an old time diner, but they actually re remodeled it, renovated it, made it all modern, and they actually cook food out of it. I haven't been there yet, but I want to check it out sometime. I think this is the last of this type of building over here. Oh wow, you talk about a collection of stuff. Buttons, buttons, and more buttons. <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of pins, knickknacks, figurines. Buttons, buttons, more buttons, canes, pipes. There we go, this is more up to my speed. Here's the cool stuff. Toy cars. Here's a bunch of cool old padlocks. I've got two totes clear full of old brass and steel padlocks, really old stuff. I need to do something like with this with that stuff rather than just leave it in containers. Pony Express Relay Station. It's amazing how influential the Pony Express has been on history and on culture even, despite how short-lived it actually was. It wasn't around that long, but yet everybody knows about the Pony Express. This would have been the stable for the Pony Express here. And we got the office over there. And this here, where they would store the stuff. The horses and the wagons and whatnot. Old blacksmith shop. I think they're actually doing work today, so we'll go see. We'll do one more building before we close this video out. Bunch more old stuff in here. And it's all in pretty good condition. Here's an old sheep herder's wagon. Some more old steam stuff. That's pretty neat. Some steam tractors. I just love steam tractors. Just the look of them is so cool. I don't need a nice one. I'd be happy with just an old... Oh, look at that. But yeah, I don't need a nice one. I'd be happy with an old rusty one because I'm just going to park it out in the field anyway. Massive things. Can you imagine driving one of these? Oh, here's a room just like the one they're selling in the auction. This one's obviously way nicer. Bunch more old farm equipment in here. Old time stuff. Some really cool stuff though. Now check out that old Moline over there. That's a funky one right there. Old Fordson and a Samson. They got some very rare stuff in here. And we haven't even scratched the surface. There's so much stuff here. We could go on and on and on forever and a day. 
you will not regret coming to see this place. If you like old stuff, old cars, old farm equipment, historical items, antiques, you will not regret coming here. Look at all these old wooden machines. I wish so bad. If I had a time machine, other people would do all sorts of stuff. They'd go back in time and do this and that. I would go back in time just to see this stuff getting used. That's back when you had to work to drive a tractor. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is pretty cool, whatever this is. Some sort of distillation apparatus for making alcohol. Cotton gins, old wrenches. Look at these old gas pumps. Far out. Bunch more farm equipment. Another old buggy. Some old presses. Look at that saw. That's a mean saw. That's a leg gooder there. Oh, that's an ice saw for cutting ice. When's the last time you saw one of those? Bunches of neat stuff in here. And I'm only showing you guys a fraction of what's here. Look at this old fence making machine. They are always looking for people to help volunteer and donate to help keep this place going. That's one reason why they're having that auction for their excess inventory, some of the rough, rougher stuff, and so that they can renovate this place a little bit, put a few new roofs on that need to be replaced, spruce the place up a little bit, and try to make it kind of back to its glory days, I guess is the way of saying it. It's definitely a cool place. You definitely gotta come check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out here and I'll continue this in a part two. There's a bunch more stuff that we haven't seen yet, a bunch of old cars. If you guys enjoy this one, please subscribe. I do this sort of stuff fairly often. I wanna do it more often. Please give me a thumbs up on this video. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.